Kakalos Boketov, Daf Sadi, Mesech Pesachim, and we're going to start. If you remember, we said what happened was is as follows. We were speaking about Amar Ula, Vite Meravoshia, right? If you remember, this is just on the bottom of Peteta Mubet, just to explain. Ravoshia said, If Shadi Yadi Havim Bablai Tamaida Amita, do they know this reason? One of them took his tle for a Korban Pesach. One of them took the money for the Korban Pesach. So how could it be that Egdesh is Chal Egdesh? Tiktani, right? So therefore it comes out. So therefore the Egdesh which is coming out to Chulin already became, right? So for example, let's say a person comes and he buys an, he buys an animal of Chulin with money of Egdesh. So now the kiddusha in the ma'ot are not in the ma'ot anymore. It goes into the animal. But when a person is going to buy a portion of a desh, what is going instead of them? You understand? That's the question. What is going instead of it in order for it to become holy? So says the Gemara of Tzali Yamud Aleph. This is where we're starting. Amar Abaye Abaye says, Ilav dukmer avoshaya lehahi. If it wasn't for the fact that Rav Oshia came and he said that the Mishnah and Tzmura was talking about Bimamneh Zonal Pischo, which means that he went and he appointed this Etnan Zona on his Korban Pesach, which means that usually, you imagine what, well, not usually, what would happen in a case where a person would want to pay a harlot with his Korban Pesach? So it says over here, Verebi, and this is Shitat Rebi, that he says that the Korban Pesach is Mamun Dalim. Mamun Dalim means it belongs to the owners. So have a la la lahi. So then we could come and we could say that the Mishnah is talking about the Kadashim Kalim. We're talking about Kadashim Kalim, and according to Rabbi Yosef Galile, Tamar Kadashim Kalim Mamon Balimu. That according to him, Kadashim Kalim is Mamon Balim. Remember Kadashim Kalim, the Korban Pesach is Kadashim Kalim. Okay, that's what we say in the in the Tefila, right? The Bechol Maaseh Pesach Kadashim Kalim. Shechit Dabin Tzomer Mekabel, right? So that's Kadashim Kalim. Okay, fine. So now it says here as follows. It says, Aval ba Pesach, ba, when we are talking about the Korban Pesach, lo meshayir inish, a person will not come and he will leave it over, which means that the gufa be'ema is not considered mamon balim. If not, it's going to be like shitat of Yosef Gilele, that he says, kadashim kalim is mamon balim. But, b'ma'ot, by by mani, vaday meshayir inish. For sure, he's going to leave something over. The me'ikara kamashu was when he was separating it, aday tadach mafashu, he was doing it in order for it to be left over which means from the beginning was Magdishotam, that if it's going to be that he's going to be counted as the Korban Pesach of somebody else, so then it's not going to be Kadosh. So therefore, if right now, from the beginning, he's already doing this in this fashion. I mean, he's already doing it in a way that if he's going to all of a sudden be part of somebody else's Korban Pesach, so then it won't be, right? The money won't be holy anymore. Okay? Behar Rebi. So says the Gemara, this was Rebi. Mishum hachi biado chulin. Right? And that's why the money in his hand is going to stay chulim. By money, a person for sure leaves things over, leaves over, right? Which means that he's not going to consecrate it 100%. He already knows that he's going to have in his mindset that it's not going to be 100% kiddushah just in case it's going to be part of another group. So says the Gemara, and that which we said that like we are not going to say that it's like Rebbe. Because by Pesach, it's not Mishayrinish. A person does not pay attention to it, right? So he says, we're going to skip out those brackets. We can't say it's like Rabbi Yosef. We already taught in the Seifa that if you sell it, the Ola and the Shlamim, you didn't do anything. But now that Rabbi Yosef said that, that we're talking about that you appointed this Zona with your Korban Pesach and it's Shitat Rebbe. Shmami. Now we learn from here that even by Korban Pesach, people leave over that it's not going to be 100% holy just in case you're going to start getting uh, attached to another Korban Pesach and then there's not going to be a problem. What is the Ravoshi exactly? The Tanamas we learned in the Mishnah, Natan la Mukdashim betanana. If a person came and he gave things of Hegdesh to a woman as her payment, Harelu Mutarin, this is going to be permitted. Ofot de Chulin. But if, if, she, if he gave her a fort of chulin, right, that are not Kodesh, harelu asurin, you're not allowed to use it as a korban. Meaning, if it was already holy and now you give it to her, so then it's permitted to come and to bring it, right? And there's no isur of etzanan zona. But if it was regular, unconsecrated produce, right, and then you came and you used it for such a foul or such a bad thing, 
So then you're not allowed to bring it as a korban. It's called it's an zona mechi kelev, but you're not allowed to bring it as a korban. Shaya bedin, because I would have thought of kalvachome. If right now mukdashim shamum posel bayin, if by hekdesh that a defect is going to be posel, and it's nanu mechir chal lehen, it's nan zona mechir kelev. It is not going to be chal on them. Yeah, so he says, right? Ofot she'enam posel bayin. Ofot there's no mum which is posel. Right, so he says, shouldn't it be then? Enu din shenet anu mechir chal lehen tamulomar lechol neder lo tavi etnan zonah mechir kelev et hashem lechal lechol neder lerabot of ofot. Even ofot you cannot bring from an etnan zonah mechir kelev. Here it says when it says lo tavi etnan zonah mechir kelev et hashem lechol neder kidovat hashem gam shneim kolomar behema an animal or anything else which is going to be brought on the mizbeach, for example, flour or wine that was given as an etnan, was given as a uh, as a compensation for relations for a zona, right? So then, in such a case, or kitmurat lekniat kelev, or that you're buying a dog, asura la kara, you're not allowed to bring it to, to the mizbeach. It's called mechir kelev, right? It's nan zona umchir kelev. You're not allowed to bring it to the mizbeach. So kalvachom el mikudashim meata. So he says, now we're going to say that there's going to be an isur on the ofot from a kalvachom and ma ofot, just like by birds. That the mum is not posel, it does not disqualify any defect, is not disqualifying, right? Which means that in the Pasuk it says, by a korban, tamim zachar. Tamim zachar means without a mum. Okay, and there's for since the Pasuk there it says, babakar bakevasim vasom, bakevasim vasim. So therefore, it's mashma that, that off, there's no problem of that it doesn't have a mum, a blemish, which means that you could bring a, a blemished bird, a fowl, but you're not allowed to bring a, a blemished animal. Meaning by behemot, there's a lachot of mumim. By, by ofot, by birds, there's no, there's no lachot of mumim. So says the Gemara, kavachom akdoshin meata. Ma ofot, just like the birds, that the mum does not disqualify, but it's nanum khir is hal, mugdashim, that the mum does disqualify. Shouldn't it be the lacha that the tsnan zonam khir kelev should hal? Tamulumal lechol neder pral nadur. So tsmash, but anything which could become a neder, but this is already nadur, it's not a neder. Pral Nadur means that over here it's already Hegdesh. So if it's already Hegdesh, there's no Yisur of Etnan Zona Umchir Kelev. But if it wasn't Hegdesh, now there's a problem of Etnan Zona Umchir Kelev. Ela Tama de Kedav Rachman, the reason why is because the Torah wrote Ned. Halav Haki, but if not, Hav Amina would have thought to say, right, by Mugdashim, there's Chal Yisur of Etnan Alehem. Beha En Adam Dov El Sed Vashen Elo, a person cannot prohibit something which is not his. Which means if you already consecrated an animal, Towards the korban, towards the mizbech, whatever it is, that in itself is not yours anymore. You made a tegdesh. So, for since it's not yours, you cannot disqualify it afterwards. So, Amar Avoshia says Avoshia, you're right. Our our brayta in the Mishnah and brayta is talking about manez onal pischo, and it's shitat rabbi. My rabbi, what is rabbi? The time was we learned in the brayta. What does that mean? Imimata bait miyot mise. So we say in Yenata Bait, which means in Mitmaet Beto Shel Bala Pesach, which means that he doesn't have enough money, Miyot Mise. So what does he do? Hachayehu Mise. So then Yeshlo Lachayot Atase, which means Liknot Mashadarush Lutzoche Pesach from the money of the Se itself. It means he should put other people as part of the Korban Pesach. And the money that he gets from the other people, that's what he's going to buy, the necessities of Pesach. Mikhdeach Ila, Velo Mikhdemekach, but only things of food. Right, but not things of uh, you know purchasing of you know buying and selling things of like that. Okay, Rabbi Omer Rabbi says, "Af mechdem mechak any anything." Sheim en lo mamane achel apiskol achagigdo ma'ot shvidah churin shemenakeni dishot disubichre. No, you can now buy anything that you want. You come and you buy anything. Why? Imagine I've got a korban pesach. I'm going to start appointing. Okay, you want to be part of my korban pesach. You want to so you have to give me part of the money. Obviously, it's not for free. So all of a sudden you come, you give me, you give me. Uh, I get all the money. Now I could go and I could uh, buy whatever I need. Okay, Rabba and Rabbi Zera, Rabba and Rabbi Zera. Chad Amar, one of them said, "Be'etzim letzliato kule amelo plige by wood for the roasting." Nobody's arguing. The kevin the takanta the pesach, but since it's a takana for pesach, kegufa the pesach. So it's like the the goof of the pesach. Ki plige one is a machloke be matzau maror. It's matzau maror maror. Rabbanan savre the rabbis hold ha achila charitehi that that in itself is considered another type of an eating. The Rabbi Savar and Rabbi holds given the chesed of the Pesach who kikufat the Pesach. I mean, since it's a chesed of the Korban Pesach, so then it's like the the Pesach in itself. The Chadamar, one of them said, 
the matzah maror nami also by matzah maror. Kulam lo pligi. What are we dealing with? Tichtiv on matzot umronim yocheluhu. On matzot umronim you're going to eat it. The kevin the machshirim the pesach the nuvim since it's considered machshirim the pesach ke pesach lam it's like a pesach. Ki pligi when is a machlok ke likach lo chaluk likach lo talit to take whether it's going to be a chaluk or a talit. Rabbanan sabre rabbanan hold miot misia manachman achiyu lese. But Rabbi Yisrael chiyat mecha misia. So again the same machlok that we said before. The machloket is, I'm already taking money with the Korban Pesach, right? I'm getting all these people, they're coming, they're giving me money. Am I allowed to come now and take this money and spend it, but only for food for the Korban Pesach, meaning only for the necessities of the Korban Pesach? Or that's when you say, miyot mise, which is hachayehu lese, which means hachayeh tase, right? Atar rasha likno b'maot mechidat Korban Pesach, rak tzolche ase, aval lo dvarim acherim. The Rabbi Savar, but the Rabbi holds, no. Hachayeh atzmecha mise. What does that mean? No, that's what we're saying. It's, it goes out to Chuli. It goes out to Chuli. Okay? Ula baye, and according to Abaye de Amar, ilav de ukme revoshi alahi, b'menezona pischo, v'rebi, hava kumkir me kodashim kalim, 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 v'rebi, hava and then we would have said it would have been we would have said that it's talking about kadashim kalim and Rabbi Yosegel which means that it's mamon balim. But the Quran Pesach for sure, right? He's not meshayir. But once again, how could it be he's not meshayir? What does it mean that it's not going to become anymore that it has to stay holy? And if he's not going to leave anything over, why? It says mefurash amenak kenegdish riser pitzchen, which means that they are meshayirim makdusha of the goof in itself because they purposely leave it over in order that it's not going to be hundred percent holy. So says the Gemara, Ema. That on condition that they did this in order to uh, make it right, for the money of their of their Pesach. Okay, Mishnah. Tzadi Amud Aleph on the bottom. Mishnah. Mishnah. Tzadi Amud Aleph on the bottom. Mishnah. Zav shera shte riyot shochatin alav b'shvi. A zav that he saw his discharge. Remember, a zav is a sickness that a person had seminal discharge, but it wasn't really semen. It's a different type of a semen. But when the membrane is dead. Meaning it's not a stam that you understand that so the organ is dead, and now he's having this spill, and it's obviously a sickness. So he has to do Shivat Nikim. So they are allowed to do the Shekita for him on the Korban Pesach on the seventh day of the Shivat Nikim. Ra'ashalosh, but if he saw three riyot of Zava, right? So then he's not he's a surtit kochim until he brings the Korban Zav on the eighth day. Shochatin Allah Bashmini Shalo. So then they're only allowed to do Shekita on his eighth day, not on the seventh day. Okay? Shomerit Yom Keneged Yom. Right, a woman that is shomeret yom keneged yom, which means a woman that she sees blood for one day after her normal cycle, which means she had her normal period, and then after that, right after the seven days of the normal period, within the next eleven days, she saw again blood. So it's like a sickness. It's not normal. What's going on here? So she's shomeret yom keneged yom. She has to watch one day for another day. So shochkin alei abeshni shela. You're allowed to do shikita for her on her second day. Ratash neyamim, but she saw two days. So the mishalshi, you could do shikita for the third day. But she becomes a zava, zava gdula, which means that she suffered three days consecutively, and now she needs shivat nekiim. In such a case, shochtin aleya b'shmini, they only do the shchita on the eighth day for her because she needs the full shivat nekiim, and then afterwards on the eighth day, now she's going to come and she's going to become uh, pure. So I'm Rav Yudah Marav. Says Rav Yudah, the name of Rav. Shochtin v'zokin al tful yom. You are allowed to do shchita and to do zrika of the blood on a tful yom. Remember, tful yom is somebody that's tamei that he did tevila. And he's not going to be pure until the night time. Okay, that's called Tavul Yom. Okay, Umechusal Kipurim. Or a Tameh, that he went, he did Tavila. It has a Rav Shemesh, which means it already became night time. But he needs a Korban. He's lacking Kapara. Mechusar Kipurim. He's lacking a Korban in order to purify him. So even though he's right now prohibited to do, to eat Kochim, he's going to be fitting later on. Says Tzadi Amutet, right, 90B. Yeah, it says over here, but we're not going to slaughter and to be zorek on tmesh sheretz. Okay? That means we're not going to slaughter a korban pesach or to be duzrika on somebody that became tameh from a nevelah of a sheretz. Right? And he still didn't go to the mikveh. Okay? Ve'ula mar, ula argues. He says, no, you could. Av shochtim v'zorkin al tmesh sheretz. So le rav, according to rav, he says, one second, why are you going to tell me now that the Tful Yom is fitting for the nighttime? Tmei is also fitting for the nighttime. 
So answers the Gemara, Mechusar Tevila. What we're talking about is we're lacking the Tevila. So it says the Gemara, Tvul Yom Nami Mechusar Erev Shemesh. It says what? Tvul Yom also, you're lacking the Erev Shemesh. So answers the Gemara, Shim Shami Meila Arva. The Shemesh goes down on its own, and therefore you don't have to do a Maaseh in order to become pure. But since you're not, it's not Mechusar Maaseh, so it's Kidu that right now you're fitting to do it. But if you have to actually bring a Korban, that's something else. And then once you have to do an action, no, 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 no. There's no action done. It's just me, Mila. The, the sun goes down, so I could be lenient. Okay? So he says, Mechusar kiporinamia, Mechusar kapara. You're lacking kapara. He says, no. Shekino biado. He already has the ken in his hand. It means it's already fitting. He doesn't have to do anything. It's already here. So says the Gemara, Tmesheretz nami, the mikveh lefana. The Tmesheretz also, the mikveh is right in front of him. He doesn't have to do anything. He just goes to the mikveh. So says the Gemara, no, Dilma Pasha. Maybe he's going to be Poshia and he's not going to go to the mikveh. So Yahiv, so also the same thing. Also by Mechusa Kipurim, maybe he's going to be Poshia. He's not going to bring his Korban. Why are you only going to tell me maybe he's going to be Poshia? He's not going to do Tevila. Maybe he's going to be Poshia. He's not going to bring a Korban. So says the Gemara, he already gave it to the Betty. He says the Betty will for sure take care of it. Meaning once he gives it to the Betty, don't worry about it. And according to Rav, the Midoraita Mixa Chazir is fitting. But it's only the rabbis that decreed upon it. So why did Rav say, so why do we say that we're going to purify somebody with a tumat sheretz? If you remember, we said that if a person was half, the entire Bnei Yisrael were half, half, what do you do? You take a sheretz and you impurify with somebody. Once you impurify, there's more rov that are not pure. And then you bring the korban, betumah. They're not fitting. Milo Askina, we're not dealing with the Shechal Shvi Shalo or Yogur Pesach, that the seventh day became on the Pere of Pesach. Tainu to Macheretz, that is to Macheretz. Vamarachmana and the Torah says, Nidche, push him off to Pesach Sheni. Vechite, man, if you're going to tell me, Mimai, right, Dehachi, right, maybe you're going to tell me, how does Rav know this? Savala Kravitzak, maybe he holds a Kravitzak. Damar, Tememet Mitzvah, Hayu Shechal Shvi Shalo and Leot of No, they were Tememet Mitzvah. Shneman, Velo Yahru, Laso the Pesach, you know who? You see over there what happened was in the Midbar. Where do we see the concept of Pesach Shini? Pesach Shini, the first place was in the Midbar. They were doing already a mitzvah. It was a met mitzvah. So since it was a met mitzvah, only in that case, they weren't able to do it because their seventh day fell out on Erev Pesach. Now they weren't able to do it. And that's why they were pushed to Pesach Shini. Okay, that's what happened. Because then, then in those times, you understand? not now. So he says that means even though they were they were fitting to become tahor in the night time, still they were pushed off, pushed off to Pesach Shini. Pesach Shini also for, uh, okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. no. Ah, no. Well, uh, fine, la lot of But usually you have to do it on Pesach Shini. It's only if you were a noose that you weren't able to. So then you do a Pesach Shini. You understand? Know but technically, the real Pesach Shini was because of Tamei Nefesh. Yeah, everybody usually has an obligation of doing on Yale Two weeks. Yeah. Okay, fine. So the Gemara is going to ask on this. Now we learned in the Mishnah, Azav Sheriyot Chochdim Alav B'Shvi'i, Azav that saw twice. So they're going to do the Shechita on the seventh day. My love, the Lot Tavila, we're not talking about that there was no Tavila done. Ushma Mina, we learned from you, Shochdim is working on Tamei Sheretz. They're going to do Shechita, they're going to sprinkle the blood of the Sheretz. And so the Gemara, Lo, the Tavil, right? You did do the Tavila. E Tavil, if you did do the Tavila, my Kamash Mahan, so what are we dealing with? Hakamashwam, we're dealing with Afa Gavde Mechusara, Erev Shemesh, even though we're lacking Erev Shemesh, the Shim Shemila Alava. The Shemesh goes down Mimila on itself, meaning you don't have to do anything for the sun to go down. Since you don't have to do anything, so that's it. It's going to be okay. So says the Gimara, Chinam Misabra, it's also logical to say this. Midiktani Sevud, we saw the Seifa. Ra'ashalosh Reyot, if you see three Reyot, if you saw three times, Shochtin Ola Beshmini, you could do the Shechita on the eighth day. Iyam Rabbi if you're going to tell me that Zav Sherash Reyot, Shochtin Ola that you could do on the seventh day, the Tavil, right, that you do Tavila, Itzich, then it makes sense. Salka, I mean, I would have thought to say, it's not lacking anything. Aval, Shrash, Shalosh, Bashmini, but if you did see something on the third, the Mechusar, right, if you saw three times, and therefore now you're on the eighth day, the Mechusar Maase, Mechusar Kapara, you're lacking the, the Maase, but you're lacking Kapara, I would say no. Kamash Manan, Kam Sitchu, Dafagav, the Mechusar Kapara, that even though you're still lacking the Kapara, you, you're allowed to do Shechitan Zrika. Elaim, but if you're going to tell me that we're talking about Rash Terriot Vashvi, you're not allowed to do Tadvila. So why do I need that case? It's obvious. If right now, if the Zav saw twice and it's not good, if he saw three times, it's not good. You know what I'm saying? It's because three times you need also the Kapara. Right? By twice, you don't need the Korban. 
So it says the Gemara, Hashta Yishlomar Berash Terriyo Beshvi de Lotavil Tameh Meal Yahu. It's a hundred percent Tameh. Shachtim is a kid in Levet. So now he's going to come to Bibu Shechita Vizrika. Rash Alos, but he did the third one, and now he's waiting on the eighth day. He already did Tavila, right? The Tavila Beshvi. The Klisha Tumah. So now the Tumah is less because he already went to the Mikveh. So lo kol sheken the shachtim. So for sure you should be able to come and do the shechita and zrika. El alav rather shema minar rashi the yob shvi the shodil aved the three that you could do it. So says the gemara. No, I don't hold of that. Why? Leolam imelcha. Really, I'm going to tell you the lo tavil. You didn't do the tavila. The eat zrich and you need this. Sal kaday tachamina. I would have thought to say b'shvi who the viadol letaken that on the seventh it's in your hands to fix it. Aval b'shmini but on the eighth the em viadol akriv korban that you cannot bring a korban. Ema Pasha Bay Kohanim, I would say that the Kohanim they did Pshia. Kama Shmanan comes teach you Kedrav Shemaya, just like Rav Shemaya. That he says we're going to worry that because in the nighttime, that before the nighttime they're going to bring the Korbanot, right? All of a sudden it's going to be a problem over there. Okay, fine. Says the two dots. The Zava Shochatim. So the Zava, which we're talking about the Zava Gdola, they're going to do Shita on the eighth day for, the, for her, because remember she has to do the seven clean days. So Tani Tana came to Rav Ada Barava. They taught him from Rav Ada Barava. And Zava Shochtin Leva Shvi Shela. They could do it on the seventh day. Amalei he said Zava B'Shvi Shela Michazia. What she can't do it on the seventh day, even according to the Mandamar that Shochtin is Orkini. On Tamesheretz, this is only by Tamesheretz because Tamesheretz are going to be fitting for the night time. But here she has to bring the Kapara the next day, so it's not going to be good. So the Gemara says you're right. You have to change the word. It's not on the seventh day. It's the eighth day, and then it's okay. Yeah, on the eighth day of the Zava, then you could do Shechita and bring the Korban for her. Okay? So says the Gemara, Pshita, it's obvious. So says the Gemara, no, Maudete, I would have thought to say, Kevin the Machasi Kapara, she's lacking Kapara, you're not allowed to bring it. Kamashwalan, like Rav Shemaya, that we are going to be Somech on the Chazaka, that for sure the Bedina are going to bring it and there's no problem. Ravina says, Nida Tanakame, really, we were talking about a Nida. Vanida Shortin Labeshvish, where the Nida is going to do it on the Shvi. Remember that in Nida, in the olden days, there was no Shiva Nikim. It was only, no, no, no. It was Shivayi, Shivayamin. The Nida of the olden days, she starts seeing her period. The entire time for the seven days, she's seeing her period. The night of the seventh day, meaning the night, seventh in the night, she goes to the mikveh and that's it. She was seeing blood the entire time. It was only seven days. There was no seven clean days. Because they know how to, to look. Exactly, because they knew they knew the difference between the blood yeah. and Nida and Lazio. Exactly, and they knew the counts and the, and the, the counts and everything. Very good. Okay. So he says here, "Vanida shochtin le'ab shvi." Amalei. So he told him, "Nida b'shvi michazia." Can a nida be fitting on the seventh day? I feel like even according to the mandama, shochtin is okay in the mishnah because she's fitting in the night time. But here, the nida le'orto the shvi utav tavla hashmini da avda hayer v'shemesh lo chazia. But one second, she's not going to be pure. That means even though she's going to be tovelet only on motzei hashvi, and until the eighth day, you still need the hayer v'shemesh. She's still not fitting for anything else. Ela eima the same answer, but shmini, not the shvi, the shmini. So says the Pshita, obviously. So Hashda now Mazavad Mechasre Kapara, just like now the Zava is lacking an atonement, and you do Shechita and Zrika on the eighth day, and Nida that's not lacking an atonement. For sure you're going to do it. So says the Gemara, Nida Tzicha Lekamashmanan Bashmini Iin Bashvilo only on the eighth, not on the seventh. As we learned, Kol Chayvet Vilot Yiratam Bayom. Anyone that does Tzvila is during the day. Nida Vyoledet Tzitatam Balal, which means like this: any type of a Tzvila which is done, usually the Tzvilot were always done during the day. The only tevila that was done at night was a nida and a yoledet. That means even a zavagdola, which nowadays when women do seven clean days, it's zavagdola, they used to be done in the morning and not in the night. Everything was done in the morning. You understand? Zava, everything, everything is in the morning. The only ones which are nighttime are nida and yoledet. The tiny, as we learned in Abraita, yeah, you thought you could, she could do tevila during the day. For seven days, she has to be in a nida. The entire seven days she has to be in that, which means that's that. Different plan, no? Which one? It's different plan. Yes. Yeah. Yolena Nida is different from a Zava. Zava is a sickness. Yeah. So Violet it catch Nida. Yoledet has a cash, a juxtaposition to Nida, which means since it's brought together close, so we learn the same alakhol, which means that she has to be a full Nida for seven days. So she cannot go to the Nikv in the morning, because that means that she wasn't Nida. So therefore, she has to stay Nida for the entire seventh day as well. Okay, Mishnah. Yeah, let's try to continue. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Let's see how far we can go. Mishnah, Haonen, somebody that passed away, right? Some one of his family members passed away, Haonen. Okay, that he still wasn't buried. So that's why it's Aninut. 
Sadiqalif Amudalif, 91A. Vamfakeach et agal. Or you know what? Hold on one second. 